This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to an After Effects quick tip video. Today we're talking about After Effects expressions, specifically how to kind of convert this position data and kind of convert that to angle data so we can control position with an angle and distance slider. Now I know this is a very, very specific case, but I've actually run into this issue quite a few times, especially when using stuff like fractal noise, creating maps and generating rigs. A lot of times you'll want to kind of animate the offset turbulence with the position of something, but base it off of an angle slider rather than position. So for example, if you wanted to auto animate and push this fractal flame noise to the right, you can easily apply a times expression to just the X data right here, and it would just kind of push things to the right. Or if you want to animate this up, you can go ahead and apply an expression to just the Y axis of the offset turbulent, and we can animate it up, for example. But the question becomes, how do we start doing this um, for offset turbulence or position or something like this? based on an angle, for example. So let's say I wanted to kind of push this kind of up to the top right side, for example, or the top left side, or the bottom left side, and kind of move things in an angular direction. It can be a little bit tricky, but thanks to the help of the legendary Dan Eberts, we can actually do this very, very quickly with an After Effects expression using some basic trigonometry. Now, I never thought that I would give you guys a basic crash course on trig, but basically this is from your high school days and your geometry classes with Sokotoa and finding the hypotenuse opposite adjacent stuff like that. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the example real quick. I have a square, it's just chilling right here and I want to be able to animate it and move it to the right or to the left using an angle control. So let's go ahead and just quickly apply an angle control um, to our square. And I'm also gonna apply a slider control as well just for this demonstration here and so we have an angle control slider and a slider control and let's go ahead and go to the position of this square hit p on the keyboard hit alter option on the keyboard and let's apply a quick expression here cool so i'm going to go ahead and open the expression and i'm going to go ahead and type in our first variable let's just say a for angle and we'll set that to our angle control slider semicolon we'll type in our second variable d for distance and we'll pick up that to our slider control make sure you close it with the semicolon let's go ahead and create a new variable r equals and we'll use a built-in function within after effects called degrees to radian and then we'll type in a minus 90 semicolon and then we're going to type in our x coordinate equals d asterisk or times math cosine r and then y is gonna be something similar, equals d times math dot sign, parentheses r, close it with a semicolon. And then lastly, to put this all together, we'll type in our value plus open bracket x comma y semicolon. So that's quite a bit of stuff going on. Let's go ahead and hit okay. And now if we go ahead and change our angle to like roughly 45 degrees, we can actually move this thing up in this direction by increasing the slider right here. So this is basically the angle and this is basically the distance. And let's go ahead and talk about kind of how this thing works. So the first two variables just define that A is going to be our angle and D is going to equal our distance slider control. Our variable R is going to convert our angle and degree to radians. So we can work consistently with trigonometry stuff like math cosine, math sine, for example. Um, now the reason why there's a minus 90 here and you're probably like, what the heck's going on? It's because if you look at the angle control, we type in zero, zero degrees for the after effects angle control is actually pointing upwards. But a lot of times we like to reference zero degrees against a horizontal plane like this, for example. So typically zero degrees is flat horizontal. So in order to kind of compensate and normalize the zero for After Effects, we're gonna subtract 90 here so that instead of this being zero, we're going to make it up is gonna be zero. So that's just gonna shift our degrees a little bit to be more consistent with After Effects. And then lastly, we have our X and Y data. Um, now, if you remember in geometry, Sokotoa, in order to find the Y component or the Y distance, which is the opposite side of the angle, we use something like sine, theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And if we multiply hypotenuse on both sides of the equation, we'll get that the opposite side or technically our Y component is 
hypotenuse times sine theta, which is exactly what we have here. Our D, which is our hypotenuse times math sine theta, or R in this case. And that will give us our y component of our triangle same exact thing for x if you wanted to get the x component or the adjacent component it would be hypotenuse times cosine theta will equal our adjacent which is basically our x right here and so again you see in the expression d which is our hypotenuse or distance multiplied by math cosine r so basically we're using trigonometry in order to calculate our x and y coordinates of a particular distance away um, and we're taking that change that new distance and we're adding it to our initial position data so we're calculating a distance far away we're getting the x and y components of that distance and then we're going to add it to our original position value which is why it's value plus our new position data here so i'm going to go ahead and copy our expression here and we'll go ahead and hop back into the fire comp and it's kind of the same exact thing so if i want to animate this 45 degrees up and control it with an angle slider i'm going to go ahead and add an angle slider to this fractal noise layer at the very very top and we'll just call this angle and let's go back down to the offset turbulence hit alter option and let's apply a quick expression i'm going to go ahead and paste that expression that we applied to earlier but in this particular case i don't really want to change or animate the distance per se i just want to push this thing to the top right for a very 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 long time so it will kind of be automated kind of like wind now of course you could apply a distance slider um, and apply like a times asterisk whatever it is to auto animate that but we can apply it directly within the expression very quickly so a is still going to be our angle slider that we just created but for the distance rather than having a slider for it we're just going to type in time asterisk and let's just say 300 for now semicolon so now our distance is not some set value controlled by a slider it's going to be the current time indicator times 300 so this thing is always going to be increasing the distance is always going to be increasing so we're always going to be being pushed somewhere in a particular direction and the same exact stuff apply we'll hit okay and you'll see now if i go back up here and we change the angle to let's say 45 you're going to see that this whole flame is going to animate to the top right if you change it down to the lower right it's going to animate things in the lower right direction and it's going to continue to animate that way for as long as your memory can tolerate or if you kind of cap out at the position values or whatever value you're trying to do this with this is a nice quick and easy way to control the position and auto animate things using an angle slider and a slider control now another example is using it for something like this this is kind of like a low pixel kind of ship thing i created and basically you can go ahead and apply the same exact rig to laser so if you wanted to um, control a ship angle with a angle control you can kind of change the ship direction that way and you'll always have the ship fire a laser in that direction that way you don't have to animate and keyframe the actual laser shot it's always going to follow the ship and shoot wherever the ship is pointing at because everything is linked to the angle control right here and it's the same exact setup as before we're taking the original position and we're adding our offset and it's driven by the time times a multiplier basically so just a quick little tip on how to kind of help you animate things automatically using angle control and converting that data into position data from trigonometry before i go i want to give a quick thanks for a sponsor over at squarespace for sponsoring today's video squarespace is the one platform to create an amazing website whether it's for your store online business or portfolio they have amazing themes to choose from fully customizable so you can make the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required they have awesome 24-hour support and best of all these promo code dojo at checkout you can actually save 10 percent off your order and support their dojos check it out over at squarespace.com dojo squarespace the number one place to create an amazing website so that's pretty much it for this quick tip video guys if you guys like videos like this give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below for the youtube algorithm subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time bye guys